Very interesting device for somebody that needs to control temperature and humidity. If you're a grower, you have a sunroom in the backyard, or you have a pet that requires very, very precise temperature control and humidity control, this is the device for you. It has temperature and humidity in one. So it's one device that controls them both. The instructions are a little bit hard to follow, so I read them for you. I'm gonna show you how it works today. The company that makes it, it's uh, Digiton. I found this on uh, Amazon. What do you get in a box? You have the plug that goes to the wall and then it's connected to a central controller that has a removable sensor here on the side. So this is a removable sensor. So if you have to drill through like some kind of like a wood or something like that, this is easy to install. And this is the actual sensor for humidity and temperature. And then the ending over here, it has a humidity control and a temperature control, which are completely separate. So you could hook up a humidifier or a dehumidifier, and you could hook up a uh, heater or a cooler for an aquarium or um, a grow house or a sunroom or something like that that requires precise control for temperature. And how does it work? Well, it can do Fahrenheit and Celsius. How do you switch in between the two? You press and hold these two buttons over here and it will switch in between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So that's absolutely your choice. Now we are in Fahrenheit, it has a set button. So there's only three buttons you have to work with, which is pretty, pretty nice. So how does it work? Run, R is for run. It starts at, in my case, 68 degrees, and you could set it up to stop anytime you want. So S is for stop. Uh, and then high is an alarm. So if your temperature goes off the rails and you have to be very, very careful so your temperature doesn't go off the rails, you can set it up for high or for low, which is very, very good if you have like a, if you have a chicken pen or something like that where you don't want your animals to freeze or you have a lizard that requires very, very precise temperatures. Uh, here on the bottom is the relative humidity. So runtime, it starts at 40%. Um, it stops at 80%. So you could set all these numbers up. I'll show you in a second how. And then obviously you have also alarms. If the humidity goes too high, you, you have a control for that. And if the humidity goes too low, you also have control for that. And then you have also correction. So if the sensor, as I said, it's in a position where it's not 100% accurate, then you could always change and, and uh, have a correction. How do you get into the menus? Press and hold. So if you press and hold, it will go here. And then with the up and down, you could set whatever you want. So uh, either humidity or temperature. And then you go next and you can set up runtime. So this is when it starts and this is when it stops. Now there is a little bit of a trick. Even though it can control temperature up or down, so it could use a heater or a cooler, the way that you do that is the difference between runtime and stop time. So if you set it up to run at 50 degrees and stop at 40 degrees, that means that you're using it in cooling mode and the other way around. So you have to use your logic as far as that goes, but it can do both. So right now it's assuming that it's heating because the uh, run time, it's uh, lower than the um, stop time. But if this will be in reverse, then it will be in cooling mode. And as I said, uh, pretty smart because each one of these plugs is completely independent. Now, what it has here in the back, it can handle about 1100 watts uh, or 10 amps. Uh, the manual says more, the unit says less. So I would go for this number because this is stuck to the unit and this is the safest way. So if you have a heater, then you could use a thousand watts on a heater and then maybe on a hundred watts a humidifier. So nothing more than that. But this is a pretty cool device to precisely control uh, temperature. Now, what I'm going to use it for, uh, I'm going to have a little solarium where I'm going to go uh, grow some uh, vegetables. And because I live in Las Vegas, uh, it gets really, really hot in summertime and really, really cold in wintertime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up that way. So in wintertime, I'm heating up the place a little bit so the plants don't die. And then in summertime, I'm going to run a swamp cooler that is going to cool off the place. So it's not going to get into the 150s. It's going to stay into the 90s and therefore the plants will live. Because um, otherwise the growth season is too short, so my tomatoes just cannot ripe in the three months that we have good weather in spring and fall. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Um, as I said, this is uh, an Amazon purchase. Uh, it's called Digiton. Very, very good prop. I'm very excited about uh, setting it up into my shed.